So my dudes, Val here, and today I'm going to be talking about Luminous Valentine, the new 5 star for wind. I managed to get her off a single that I had today, because I've been I've been summoning with what the game gives me, essentially. Uh, I haven't been wailing on the banner, like I said. Um, I think she's a phenomenal unit. I just think the Shuna makes it where I don't really want to wail on the banner. But we're not talking about Shuna today. We're talking about Luminous Valentine. And you can see, I went ahead and I max leveled her, leveled her to 80, full ability release, <clears throat> all that going on. And then I gave her some equips, I made her one real quick. Gave her a bunch of three stars because I don't think I'm going to really hyper invest in the wind. Uh, this is the kind of a game where you have to like pick and choose where you invest. I got her to level 7 on this so I can actually use it turn 1, that's the main reason I did that. Uh, and then I also leveled up her healing some. So, with all that being said, uh, let's check out the team I'm going to be using her on, then I'm going to showcase her in an event. I saved my maid runs, my daily maid runs, so we can actually do it. Definitely not this team. Uh, it is up here. This team right here. An all-win team with Sue. So, the reason I bring Sue, even though I know Veldor also busts up Dark, as you can see by that little bottom row there. Uh, the reason Sue is because he can actually do full uh, green skill conversions, so... I might mess with it and see if I can get a better setup, uh, like bringing in battle mode Milum and Diablo so I can have two blue protectors or two blue conversions so I can actually get the protective skill going on a better cycle and also having all converters in the team would be sick and all converted teams sound sick. I kind of want to try it. Uh, but yeah, there's a bunch of stuff I want to try and we're going to try later on But for now, I just want to kind of give her a showcase and what I think is a solid team for her I know a lot of people I've been seeing it in the discord because you guys know I'm active in the discord as well A lot of people have been telling me about the Carabitas team. Where did I set it up at? I know I set it up around here somewhere One of these teams is Carabitas. I swear I might not have saved it Yeah, I don't think I saved it <laughs> Whoopsie doopsie but uh, I saw people tell me about the Carabitas team, and I'm going to give it a shot. I'm going to try it out. I'm going to try out Valentine on Carabitas. I'm going to try out a bunch of uh, converters like Sue to get that Carabitas going and see what I can make with it. Uh, well, we'll try out Carabitas in a different video, but just for today, we're going to try this out. So, because this is what this is like the most cut and dry like wind unit go on wind team, right? Five head. So we're going to go ahead and try it out in story quest and a maid's duty bonus quest. Make sure you guys are doing this every day. You get a specific amount of runs. Make sure you're doing it. So we're going to go ahead and give it a shot and see exactly how good she does on, like I said, the win squad. Um, I was playing this with a little bit earlier with uh, in Predator Battles. It's actually pretty good. Uh, it's just... I think the reason Karabitis is so good is because I misunderstood how his passive works. All right, now this is a good first turn. We just have to, actually, no, no, it isn't. Actually, it's a terrible first turn. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> uh, but the reason I misunderstood about the care beat this passive, and he does go up a little bit for me now, now that I understand how it works, is it's 150% to all uh, skill gauges that it goes up, as in, if you're doing six turn, six card turns with green, it's increasing your protector gauge, your secret gauge, and because I was testing a little bit, and I was like, oh man, this is actually kind of good, because um, you guys in the Discord were telling me about it, so I was like, man, I gotta give it a shot, see what all the hubba baloo is about. All right, so let's swap out Shion for the real MVP Sue. I'm gonna use this. That would get another green turn going. And then we're going to bop -de bop 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 But yeah, I definitely want to give it a shot. Um, dude, Valentine's so sick with the scythe. The scythe is, the scythe is dope as hell. Alright, we have an actual solid as hell turn here from Sue. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to swap out Sue. Well, I guess we had a solid as hell turn here from Sue. Dude, we're getting really unlucky on the cards. Uh, but Valentine's looking pretty decent. It's just the cards are really, like, boning hard. Bop, bop, bop. Bop. There we go. Had to bring the old man in to save the day. 
All right, so we finally get to use a Valentine's card for a decent combo. All right, there we go. So let's see what Valentine does on a five hand. Let's see. Bop, bop, bop. 22, 21 regularly, and then 35, 60, pretty nice. Uh, the main thing I really like about her is actually this. <laughs> this is really nice, in my opinion, at least. I think that's I think that's really really nice. And then we can also use this, get some alt damage up, and we get some skill back. So we're going to swap out. We're going to swap out Shuna for Sue. We're at seventy. I don't know if we'll be able to do it. No, they're really really expensive. Solar skill gauge. There we go. So we're gonna do this. We're gonna bop it bop bop bop. It should be done right here. Hakuru hits like a truck. Yeah, sixteen. <laughs> Absolute beast mode Hakuru. Uh yeah, I mean the heal comes in really, really clutch. I really like the heal personally. Alright, so next what we're going to do is we're going to actually take it into some content. I don't think it's going to clear, like always, you know. We try to do content I don't think it's it'll succeed in, but it's fun to see. So Master, you can see my EP is way too low. Everything's too low about this, but I want to see how it's going to do. I want to see how this is going to turn out. So we're going to do it. Um, <clears throat> this is going to be a much longer fight. So I'm gonna let you guys know this right now. If you guys do, if you guys aren't curious about this, you can just click off the video because this is gonna be a long fight. I I can feel it in my bones. So let's see what are we working with here. Turn one, we're working with absolute copium. I just kind of have to burn these three and let more come in because that turn just was garbanzo beans. All right. So now we have all of our greens locked out because why don't we? <laughs> I don't think this is the best team to bring into this into Caribbean. So let's let's try something that you know doesn't lock out greens. <laughs> oh man, dude! All right, well I guess can't really bring skill team to that. I guess we beat this. Wait, have I beaten this with no stars? It does say clear. So I guess I have. That's pretty funny. Alright then. I guess we try wind against this. Now I see why people were showcasing the wind team against the wind boss. Because one, this is a long enough fight where you have time to ramp up. And two, Karabitas locks out greens. I always forget who locks out what because all these fights... I always forget. I have to like go in and like mess up first, and I'm like, oh yeah, you lock out this skill. You lock out this card. I can't use you. Well, that's actually a pretty start. Strong start. That's pretty pog. Um Alright, we're gonna be tight neutral the whole time. I don't think I don't think they're gonna beat this. I don't think so. Um The damage here doesn't really matter. Alright, so we're gonna swap in you for Sue, because you don't have, like, there was no cards there. And we're going to do this. There we go, baby. Isn't Sue type disadvantage here? And details, details, dude. Details, details. <laughs> Alright, so let's go ahead. We're just going to go until, like, we die or whatever. Um... Alright, I think I have the play here. I think the play is swap Shuna back in. <coughs> and then we are going to use this and this together. In tandem. Alright, now we have a five card turn. Fog. And look at the damage they're doing. Yeah, they're definitely not going to beat this, but, uh, you know, it's fun to see. 
It's fun to see. Let's see how long they can stay alive then. Let's make it a game, dude. A survival game. Alright, so next we have to eat the L this turn. So we're actually just going to pop this. Because I want to start building up the uh, soul of skills damage. And we're just going to blow these three real quick. Please don't be a full orange hand. I knew it. I knew it before I saw it. I'm like, watch, it's gonna be a full orange hand. I literally, I just had to blow it. Um, I had a feeling. I just had a feeling that it was a full orange hand. I was like, I could sense it. I'm like, the game's getting ready to bone me. I am the bone of my sword. <laughs> I just knew. I I knew it was coming, dude. You can't fool me anymore, game. I have ascended. Alright, so we're gonna pop this so we get more soul of combos damage. Then we're going to burn this. I don't think our damage is gonna be super high here, actually, because uh we have the attack down. I think the attack down is going to hurt a lot. But this whole team's about super buffing the skill hand, right? Our skill cards. So. I think it's kind of dope. Alright, we get guarded the whole time. Everyone's pretty low. Alright, now we're going to heal this turn. Oh, yeah! Okay. We are going to do a team heal. We're going to defense up as well. Oh, we can actually do Shion self heal too. Look, Soul of Skills damage up too. Yeah, we need to start burning herself to heal as well. I think this is actually going to end up ramping up a lot, but this is only really good for like longer content, right? Well, I mean, it's not good if uh, they guard everything. Yeah, 13, 15, 27, 6. That's pretty good. Uh, you just have to be doing Soul of Skills. Which is exactly why we bring the Sue. Mm, 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 mm. Alright. So now we do that, 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 that. Alright, alright. So we're going to bring the Shion back in now that Sue is not usable. And there's not much we can really do about this except to increase Pierce resistance. So since we can't use Valentine, she's pretty core to making this team work. We want to swap in for Old Man and do a little bit of this right here. Dude, he loves countering her. She's dead now because of that. He's countered her so many... He just really does not like Shuna. Well, at least he did that. She was dead already because poison. Um, He just really did not like Shuna at all. Alright, so next we're going to use this. And we're going to convert. And then we're going to do this for a five-hand turn. All right, all right, and now we have this back, so next turn we can actually heal up some. Because I don't want Valentine to die due to how core she is to this team. I'm going to go ahead and burn all this. Dude, the counters are so... they hit so hard. This is actually... this team's actually making pretty good progress, I'm not going to lie. It's a pretty tanky team. Uh, I was not expecting them to perform, like, at all, at all. So, any progress to me is kind of, like, mind-boggling. Alright, so next we're going to actually swap you in here. Which is perfect, because now we get a four-hand combo. We're going to heal everyone up. Well, by everyone, I mean literally just you. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to do this, and we're going to hope that Valentine does not die. This is like such a long fight. 
Well, Valentine died. Okay, so now we're left with just these guys. We're getting really boned on. We've been getting rolled on the cards pretty hard, but we've been, like, fighting the RNG with just perseverance. Staying strong. No, we've been fighting the RNG this whole time. It's been pretty AIDS. I'm not going to lie. Uh, we've barely gotten, like, any green cards. It's been mostly orange and blue, like, this whole time, it feels like. I, I'm telling you, I don't know how you guys are, but whenever I'm, like, running a specific team or whatever, I have the hardest time, the worst luck in terms of, um, like, doing any sort of, uh, actually being able to get cards I can use. It always ends up being like this. It always ends up being like it's it's like it's so bad, dude. Watch, it's gonna be all blue. See, it's it's like this. It's so bad, it's predictable. <laughs> right? Like, it's so bad, dude. I have such a hard time, dude. They actually almost did it. This I it actually surprised me. Um, it's over right here for sure. He didn't get his ult back. Crazy. I'm gonna get your ult back. Alright, so, old man, I guess we do this, and then burn some cards, because they're dead here. Dude, they actually, like, they actually could have done it, I'm not gonna lie, with good enough RNG, I can actually beat this with that team. Yeah, 100, if he would have lived that, if he would have lived that, 100% would have won. That was, like, just barely enough to kill. There were a bunch of things that just happened just right for me to lose that, but that I, that team actually could have beat that. That's actually a solid team and longer content and longer fights uh, because it's so tanky and it ramps up pretty hard because you get the skill damage going, you get the ult damage going, you get all this damage going. Uh, you can actually start ramping up pretty damn hard. You just have to make sure you're burning their heals and constantly keeping your team healthy between Shuna and Valentine's heal. But yeah, for longer content... Definitely, definitely. It's a solid team because uh, you're able to really ramp up. You're able to really get up there and you're able to really start mowing stuff down in the end. Because they were hitting genuinely hard at the very end there. Uh, well, towards the end. Anyways, that's the showcase. Hopefully, uh, I showed you guys Valentine and you guys are excited about it. I think she's good, like I said before. Uh, I think the only time I said anything like that about her... I think it was whenever she first came out, because I was I was really like I was really hard in that Shuna, and that Shuna kind of changed my perception of the banner as a whole. But I think the Valentine's pretty damn good. Um, really good for a space team, really good for a win team. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. As always, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.